Hello, our mighty Saurus and Sora. It is a nice day to learn about fossils, dinosaurs, and many other prehistoric creatures, isn't it? Well, you know, every issue has two sides. While people often mistakenly believe that prehistoric creatures were all gigantic because there were many tiny animals in prehistoric times to fill ecological niches, we must also admit that many prehistoric animals took advantage of natural benefits to grow to sizes rarely seen in today's animals. In a previous video, we explored the giant turtles of the dinosaur age. Today, let's continue with us to discover prominent creatures of the Mesozoic ecosystem, or in other words, the dinosaur age, the giant fish. Please note, in this video, we will not discuss Mesozoic sharks, which belong to the superorder Selicomorpha. They deserve their own video in the near future. So, are you ready to explore the superfish that lived alongside dinosaurs? Let's get started. Number 1. Gyrosteus. The British is our world's pioneers in paleontology. In 1824, British scientists named the first dinosaur species, Megalosaurus. By 1842, Sir Richard Owen coined the term dinosaur. However, besides dinosaurs, the British also made many other important paleontological discoveries, such as ichthyosaurs, plesiosaurs, and giant ancient fish. One of the first giant ancient fish discovered by the British was Gyrosteus. Gyrosteus is an extinct genus of large ray-finned fish belonging to the family Chondrosteidae. The Chondrosteidae family is a group within the subclass Chondrosteidae, which includes about 52 extant species today, the most famous being the sturgeon. This genus currently includes the type species Gyrosteus mirabilis, which lived in the late early Jurassic period, about 181 million years ago. Its fossils have been found in the UK and Germany. Although discovered around the 1830s and named Gyrosteus mirabilis by American biologist and geologist Louis Agassiz, these fossils were not described for many decades until renowned ichthyologist Arthur Smith Woodward took over. In 1889, he published the official description of Gyrosteus, considering it an ancient relative of the sturgeon. According to Woodward's estimates, members of the Gyrosteus genus were very large fish, with a maximum length of about 6 to 7 meters, based on a jawbone fossil measuring up to 50 centimeters. Gyrosteus lived in an era when marine life was extremely diverse, while on land, new types of dinosaurs were emerging. They may have lived alongside ichthyosaurs like Stenopterygius, plesiosaurs like Microcletus, and marine crocodile relatives like the Latisuchia. Number 2. Mausonia Coelacanth, also known as lobefin fish, are the longest living group of bony fish in the world. Fossil data shows they have existed since the Devonian period, over 400 million years ago, and were thought to be extinct until a living coelacanth was caught in 1938, a discovery that caused a sensation. Modern coelacanth can live very long and grow to large sizes, about 1.8 meters long, and weighing up to 90 kilograms, but their ancient relatives were even larger. One of the notable representatives of ancient coelacanth is Mausonia. Mausonia is a genus of coelacanth that lived in freshwater and brackish environments of ancient ecosystems in South America, northeastern North America, and Africa, dating from about 152 to 96 million years ago. Once again, Arthur Smith Woodward described this genus in 1907 from fossils discovered in Brazil in the early 20th century. This fish had a total of six fins, two on top, two on the bottom, one at the tail, and one below the tail area. Without large teeth, Mausonia's mouth was filled with small teeth about 1 to 2 millimeters long. Based on fossils, Mausonia could reach sizes of over 5 meters. Another relative of Mausonia, Trachometapon, could also grow to this size. Both are among the largest coelacanth ever existed. Number 3. Onchopristus some designs have stood the test of time, enduring for a very long period. For humans, it's the pyramids. 
But for nature, the time span can be tens of millions, even hundreds of millions of years. One of nature's great designs is fish with elongated snouts with large teeth growing on either side, forming something that looks like a saw. This design has appeared in at least three different lineages of cartilaginous fish as a result of convergent evolution. First, the suborder Sclerenchoidiidae, second, the family Pristidae, and third, the family Pristioforidae. The suborder Sclerenchoidiidae and the family Pristidae are both within the superorder Batoidea, while the family Pristioforidae belongs to the superorder Selecomorpha. Although the suborder Sclerenchoidiidae is completely extinct, the other two groups still exist today, proving the enduring vitality of this strange design. Among the sawfish, the largest is Oncopristus, a genus of fish belonging to the suborder Sclerenchoidiidae. Oncopristus itself was a long-lived genus of cartilaginous fish, existing from about 125 to 94 million years ago. Estimates based on existing specimens suggest Oncopristus could reach lengths of up to 4.25 meters. However, there are rumors of larger specimens with lengths of up to 7 or even 8 meters, with the snout alone measuring 2 meters. They could use the saw to attack prey, cutting it in half to kill it and make it easier to swallow. Or they could use this special snout to search for prey hiding in the sand. Number 4. Xyphactinus If there were a vote for the most aggressive fish in the dinosaur age oceans that wasn't a shark, Xyphactinus would certainly be a top contender. Xyphactinus is also known as the X-fish, similar to how Pliosaurus funke is called Predator X. Scientists believe they looked like oversized tarpon with sharp fangs. The largest individuals could reach lengths of up to 6 meters or more. Xyphactinus existed for a long period from 100 to 66 million years ago, going extinct at the end of the Cretaceous period, possibly due to the same disaster that wiped out non-avian dinosaurs. Their fossils are found in many places around the world, from the USA, Canada, Europe to Australia and South America. Scientists believe Xyphactinus was one of the most aggressive and voracious predators in the Cretaceous oceans. Many specimens have been excavated with large prey still undigested in their stomachs. One specimen of Xyphactinus audax, for 0.2 meters long, is known as the fish within a fish fossil because it had a nearly intact 1.9 meter long Gillicus arcuatus in its stomach. It's possible that the voracious Xyphactinus tried to swallow prey that was too large, but the prey struggled violently after being swallowed, injuring Xyphactinus's internal organs leading to the death of both. Conversely, Xyphactinus could also become a victim or at least be scavenged by other fierce fish, such as the sharks Cretoxorhina and Squalocorax. In 2010, Xyphactinus almost became the state fossil of Kansas, but it ultimately lost this position to the Mosasaur Tylosaurus. Number 5. Leedsichthys And now, the last superfish today, Leedsichthys. If we only consider bony fish, Leedsichthys is the largest bony fish ever found. Some old estimates even suggested Leedsichthys could be up to 27.6 meters long, comparable to many modern whales. However, more realistic estimates suggest Leedsichthys was no more than 16 meters long. Nevertheless, that is still an impressive size for a bony fish, comparable to the largest whale sharks today. To reach such enormous sizes, Leedsichthys lived from the middle to late Jurassic period, about 165 to 152 million years ago, a time of warm climate, making the oceans full of food, providing a large amount of plankton, algae, and other resources. They were filter feeders, with specialized gills to filter tiny food particles from seawater. Each second, with its enormous mouth, Leedsichthys might have pumped thousands of liters of water through its gills to filter millions of plankton. Not only plankton, but they could also consume schools of small fish in just a few seconds. However, as the environment changed, the seas became colder and the food supply dwindled, Leedsichthys became a victim of its own enormous size. It went extinct around 152 million years ago, although its relatives could have survived well into the tens of millions of years later, only going extinct at the end of the Cretaceous period. 
Those were the five superfish that once dominated the oceans during the dinosaur age. Thanks to favorable natural conditions, they grew to enormous sizes and contributed to the diversity of marine ecosystems during that time. However, no matter how glorious, everything eventually declines, and these superfish could not escape extinction due to natural changes. That concludes today's video. We sincerely thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us for updates on new videos. For now, goodbye and see you in our next videos.